O King of Portugal está de regresso a Vimioso e o estádio municipal encheu-se com os participantes e equipas vindas de todos os cantos do mundo. O convívio foi notório, podendo assistir-se aos grupos a preparar a ceia e os motores. I love racing in Portugal. I've been racing in Portugal since about 2007. Um, but this race is very special. It combines speed with technicality and just look at where we are. We're in Vimioso. It's beautiful. The course that we're competing on is a fantastic course. So we've got lots of rocks, we've got lots of very fast, speedy sections. And the difficult bit is making sure you manage your car between the fast parts and the technical parts. There's no point being a hero one minute and being a zero the next. So you've, it's really important that you take great care of your car. Well, this car's a little bit special. So this car was designed by a guy called Eric Miller in the United States. He designed the frame for this vehicle. So we bought that frame and we shipped it from uh, the USA over here. Then it was in full kit form, like an IKEA kit. We had to weld it all together. Um, we've got spider tracks axles on there, latest generation, very special. We've got Fox suspension, which is amazing. Then we're running a seven liter V8 engine with a four speed automatic gearbox, all electronically controlled. Um, and Odyssey batteries, of course, which give us the power to be able to do everything we do on this track. This is an event of the terrain, which is disputed here in Bimio for 10 years, the 10th edition. It's a mix of partes rápidas da prova com partes de transposição de obstáculos, com pedras, com declives grandes, com tudo. Basicamente é um coquetel de todo terreno. Um novo circuito foi apresentado, diferente do ano anterior, acompanhado de novas variantes de obstáculos, zonas como a pedreira e os ovos de dinossauros estão de volta, trazendo consigo alguns desafios para os participantes. Este conta ainda com o setor de tartaruga, o que fez com que esta prova crescesse com várias novas zonas com obstáculos difíceis.